Farmhouse AF with Farmer J is brought to you by Nest of Delray. Right. All right, Farmhouse AF and Farmer J are both here this morning mm -hmm. because uh, they're helping us with some ideas to keep. And they're kids. bored as heck. So what else <laughs> are you going to do? What else right? are you going to do? Right? <laughs> we got to keep them busy. <laughs> all right. Um, you know, Jay is all about Farmer Jay is all about growing your own food, and I really think this is a perfect opportunity because spring is a great time to start planting your own food, right? Right. And you have all these fruits and vegetables at your house now that yeah. are probably about to go bad. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I wanted to do is I wanted to come up with something that a you know, these are things like you're either using the food already or maybe it's going to be going bad. And these are things that you can grow right in your backyard that are quick. You know, everyone says, oh, I want to grow a lemon or something like that or maybe an avocado or mango. But without grafting, you're going to wait eight or ten years. And, yeah. you know, this thing will be over by then, hopefully. <laughs> so hopefully. What, hopefully. what you want to do when you're, you're saving seeds, you know, obviously you want the most the ripest of the fruits, you know. Yeah. So when you get them from the grocery store, a lot of times they pick them a little bit too early. So, so some things that aren't the best candidates, like cucumbers, you can do them, but you always want to make sure that it's, a, it's fully ripened, let it kind of go, and you can see how the seeds are just lined up in there. Now, so I, even if it's picked too early, you can still let it ripen off of the vine and it will work or it won't work? No, no. Some, okay. some fruits you can't. Like a tomato, you can. They're very resilient seeds, but like cucumbers, they're a little more temperamental. Um, so you do need them to be somewhat as mature as possible. But anyways, that being said, you can always try this experiment. Right. And what you want to do is you want to get a little paper towel and extract the seeds and let them dry out on it. Because if we put these wet seeds in the ground, they could rot and never grow. The, so how do you dry them out? Just out in the sun? Uh, just on a paper towel and the air conditioning. I would keep oh, it inside. You don't want to okay. put it outside. Here in Florida, we're yeah, too humid. They'll start to mold. Um, peppers are great. One thing about peppers and tomatoes, they're, they're cross-pollinating plants, which means that you know, when you plant this seed that came out of it, it may not be the same genetics. It might be a different tomato. It might be um, a different pepper, but it's going to be a pepper and a tomato nonetheless. So you can take these and plant them. So those are great. One that's a little more difficult is an eggplant. And you can see this oxidizes oh, as soon as we cut anyway, it. Jay. Oh, come on. It's delicious. <laughs> um, but you can pop these little seeds out of here real easily and then just start drying them out. Tomatoes, a little more difficult because they have like a gelatinous uh, coating yeah, over it. Yeah, eating that part. Right. So what you did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so you just yeah. put these right in the ground, Jay, well, after you dry yeah, them out. Yeah, dry them out. The tomato seeds, you may want to put them in a strainer and wash off some of that jelly outside coat. And by the and way, this is that. papaya, Roby. I papaya. had no idea. <laughs> I don't want to see it cut up in Publix. Yeah. Well, hey, hey, well, in a pinch, too, you can eat those seeds. Those seeds are actually oh, edible. You can dry them and okay. use them like peppercorns, but you can also grow those, and that'll grow within a year. All right, well, okay. if you are bored and you don't have a green thumb. <laughs> so that's, 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 yeah. Science curriculum. I'm yeah. trying to keep yeah. my child's brain stimulated while she's out of school. Yeah. So a couple of things that I've learned about recently that I'm super excited about is Duolingo, which is a website that is free that you can learn another language in. So this is good for adults and kids alike. My Actually, that's my plan. If I can no longer work, I'm going to learn Spanish. It's always mm -hmm. been a lifelong goal of mine. I've never been able to do it to have the time. I might have the time now. We mm. went on it yesterday. It's very cool. user friendly, very easy. I also am really in love with this. We've been playing this a lot. It's a brain teaser game. And these I'm all linking um, through my Instagram. So you can follow my Instagram and then um, all these things are linked through Amazon. But there's a bunch of brain teaser games that you can play. And it's amazing how much smarter my sixth grader is than I then am. Than I am, that's, right? That's so say. that's I've a little embarrassing. <laughs> um, also, you know, kind of throwing it back to what Andy was talking about earlier, I want to keep her writing, I want to keep her language arts going, so I have her filling out a journal daily just about her feelings, what's going on in your mind, anything you want to write down, anything you want to share, things of that nature. You, I tried to know, get my son to do that last night and he was like, mom. Yeah, yes, yeah, so that's what I was about to say. As me. a father of two young boys, <laughs> it might be a little bit different because they don't want to talk yeah. about the emotions. <laughs> I give them assignments of uh, something exciting. I start off a story and then they have to finish oh, it. That's cool. Ooh, and they, like they seem to really like that. Oh. Oh, Roby's well, hat. I mean, don't don't get me wrong. Reese gives me a hard time too, and then he, he, hence the shirt. Not today, Satan. Not today. Thank you, Lily's Boutique. But um, another thing is, you can log on to YouTube and you can um, download art step by step on how to do how to draw, uh, something. How to draw something anything it yeah. could be a horse it could be winnie the pooh and it's a lot of fun and they're getting their art curriculum in so there's a lot of different ways for them to manage getting their curriculum in 
without I love that because just, just going on YouTube device. you can learn how to do anything so just you know log on and mm -hmm. learn how to draw or whatever Absolutely. you want to do and also audible um, which is an app that um, you can download books, books on and they are doing free books right now for kids that's so amazing. awesome that's something great to, re to another that. great resource wow. for right. sure and farmhouse AF with farmer J go follow them both on social media right, you, you can find out more of the resources that Absolutely. she has on her um, Instagram page yeah. all right keep those kids busy yes yeah. exactly <laughs> Exactly. <laughs>